Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be doing a beige and brown cup crease. As usual, we're going to start with the primer. Um, for your face, I'm using Bare Minerals Prime Time. And for my eyes, I'm using Max Paint Pot and Painterly. Next, we're going to take the Lorac Pro Palette and start with that cream color all over the lid. Next we're going to take that brown color with a flat smudge brush and just follow your crease. If you have a hooded eye, make sure you go above your crease so you can, you can see the cut crease that we're going to form. And just wing it out towards the end and blend it upwards. Next, take your gel liner and start drawing a cat eye and just try not to touch that crease that we just formed. Uh, this is going to be my next video is how to do a cat eye so be on the lookout for that. We then do the exact same thing on the other side, start with that brown color and draw in your crease. I'm going a little bit higher than my natural crease because I do have a little hooded eye. And just go in with the gel liner between that white color and the brown color. Do it as close to your lash line as you can. Tips and make them edges nice and sharp and then I'm just going back in with all colors that I use the cream and the two browns um, just to you know deepen the colors more make it stand out more I guess you can say. Next you just want to blend um, the crease that we form just a little bit uh, upward towards your brow bone. Then take this mauve color and just a second, you'll see me uh, placing it above, there it is. Just right under my brow bone. And going back in with that cream color, just to emphasize that as well. And then go in with your eyeliner and mascara and apply them like you normally would. Next is my typical foundation routine. Maybe I'll do a video on that as well on uh, how to contour and highlight. Um, so just start with concealer. You can see all the red spots, all the bags, and blend that out. And then go in with your foundation and beauty blender. Next are my two handy dandy highlighting concealers. And I just apply that under my eyes on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin with the Beauty Blender. Then I just fill in my brows like I normally would. This is probably the longest part in doing my makeup. <laughs> Okay, so next let's go in with that white color for the brow bone and just apply that with a flat shadow brush and blend it out. And don't forget your lower lash and your inner tear duct. 
I'm just applying the same brown color and the same white color. Don't forget mascara too. Next, I like to set my foundation with powder. Same as always, translucent powder from Too Faced and NARS and Beach. And then with some bronzer, using the one from uh, Bare Minerals and this one from Bahama Mama or from The Bomb called Bahama Mama. Next, I'm going to take this blush from Milani and just apply that where I contoured. I don't like to put too much on, my, on the apples of my cheeks. And then just add some highlight, there, <laughs> and blend it all out with a large dual fiber brush. I got two lip combos for you. This one, I'm going to use a Maybelline lipstick and then a red lip. So I'm using this Jordana lip liner and I forget the name, but you see, it's a nice color. And then the Maybelline lipstick. And voila! I like this combo. It's it's nice. It's right down my alley as well. <laughs> now I'm gonna wipe that off and try the second lip combo with the red. So just line your lips like you normally would and apply some lipstick. mess up with the red lip you can always go in with a concealer brush and clean the edges up like I'm doing right here and that's it guys I hope you like it I hope uh, you learned something new and be on the lookout for my next video and I'll talk to you guys soon bye